I was making Robin Hood and and, uh, and I love sports and and uh, somebody said, hey, let's go see this uh, soccer game. It'll be great fun. And I said, yeah, that's right. Let's go. And I said, where are we going? They said, Arsenal. We're going to see Arsenal play. And I said, all right, you know, sounds explosive. <laughs> and because uh, I love sports and. Uh, I don't know quite what I was expecting because I've been to big stadiums before and I've seen sports in my own country, but I wasn't prepared for the passion that came with that game. Uh, I wasn't prepared for the fans and how they uh, adored their team. I wasn't prepared for the emotion. Well, you know, I'm going to try to watch the game, you know. I'm going to try to catch the game and, uh, you know, I won't be rooting against Newcastle. I'll be rooting for the Gunners. You know, and that's what sports are about. You know, uh, uh, you know somebody's going to win and somebody's going to lose, and you pick you pick the people you do. And and you know we're all different when we meet somebody personally. You know, we it's a great lesson in life because we're always you know we, when we have nothing at stake we don't choose. But the minute somebody shakes your hand and looks into your eye, you're forever you know a gunner. You know, and you know and the fact that they're having this fantastic season makes it good to be a gunner. You know, so I wish the boys well. I wish their fans well, and I, I hope uh, that it's a great, it's a great game. And, and again, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna try to watch it because uh, I've sat, I've sat up there and I've watched them play. And and uh, to win, uh, to go for the double is uh, not a, athletes don't always get the chance to do something that most athletes aren't a part of. And, and the double is, is, uh, is one of those kind of things that don't happen too often. So. Uh, I hope they uh, remember this time because those guys are never going to be this strong. They're going, they're, they're, uh, they're never going to be this close, you know. And uh, I hope it's a memory that they'll carry with them long after their sports careers. That atmosphere you described at Highbury, Arsenal's home, you experienced that time. That will be multiplied 100 times yeah. in the Cup final at Wembley. Well, maybe I'll hear them singing from over here. I'm making a movie right over here. Uh, it's called a message in a bottle and and, and uh, you know I, I I can hear the song now then and uh, it would be great to be there uh, uh, it'd be great to be on the field or it'd be great to be in the stands but this is what people watch it why they watch it on television it's why they play it and it's why they go and it's why little kids dream of being on the field someday or for days like like today would you in a, in a different life would you like to have been a sports star today? sure why? yeah I would have well I you know, listen, we, we all are, have to grow up so quickly in our lives, you know, after you leave school suddenly everybody wants to know what you want to do, what you want to be. And to be able to continue your sports career, something you played when you were young, is, is a dream and most of us relate to it that way. You know, we, we all realize at some point that we're not as fast as the greatest athletes in the world and, and uh, we'll never be as fast as them and as clever with our feet, you know, or our hands. We can only dream about it. And, and sometimes as fans we criticize a little bit too much because reality we were never that good you know and we see things and uh, but uh, you know it would be nice to have that life that that 10 year period 10 12 year period that window of of when you're at your prime and to be traveling with mates and and uh, you know it's a good time you ask those guys you know 10 years from now they won't have traded this time for anything